In this video, what we're going to cover is how to customize the right sidebar. So again, I just have some dummy text in here for layout purposes, but I want to show how you can make the right-hand side for your blogs and page pages, if you see necessary, uh, look just in a little cleaner manner. You can see it's currently got archives, categories, and meta. You may not want them in there, so I'll show you how you can go about customizing that. You just go to the Appearance and Widgets section. You can not only customize the right sidebar, but you can also customize the footer and depending on what theme you have for the page as well. It's a really simple system. You just drag and drop them out. And if you have been following the previous tutorials, you'll have Jetpack already. Some easy ways for you to have your audience see your engagement with some of your social platforms is to say, for example, the Twitter timeline. You can add that to the right sidebar. You can customize this to UC, UC Fit. Um, but more importantly is the widget ID. I'm going to show you how you go about doing that. So it just is pretty simple. You click that question mark there. It's going to tell you you need to create your Twitter widget. You, If you're signed in, you'll automatically get all this info. You just create new, create widget. This string of numbers right here is what you need. So you copy that out. You go back to here. Paste it in your widget ID. You save. And once you've done that, go back to here. You'll see now that uh, the categories that have been removed are gone and you have the follow me section over here. And what's nice is what Jetpack's done is it allows your users to actually engage with you so you can tweet to, uh, your audience can tweet to you through that widget. There's obviously a lot more available in here so it's really your discretion. You can also do, for example, say the Facebook like box. And this one all you have to do is just get a title. And if you go to their Facebook page, so I'm just going to grab it from here. Grab that URL. Put it in. I will save it. And again, this probably isn't what you want because it's going to be quite lengthy, but I'm just showing how easy it is to really customize these aspects of your site. So now you can see I have Like Us on Facebook as well.